Welcome to Valley Mobile Automotive. We're working on a 2011 Subaru Forester. We're going to be installing a tow hitch. So feel free to keep watching. This is the part number for the hitch. And this is our part number for our wiring harness. I recommend a harness like this. This is plug and play. It'll attach to your current existing plugs. So no splicing, no soldering, nothing crazy. So those are nice. All right, let's get this thing in. First thing we wanna do is lower the exhaust. So we'll get that going. This is the exhaust on the driver's side and you can see right there and right there are plugs. We'll pull those plugs off and that's where our bolts will go in. The exhaust is in the way, so we'll have to lower our exhaust. Not too challenging. And then same on this side. You see there's a plug there. And the other plug is down there. And then again, we'll have to lower our exhaust. The exhaust is held on by two rubber pieces. One on this side. One on the other side right there. And then I'll show you, but towards the front, somewhere around there, there's a 14 millimeter bolt that we'll have to get off as well. Here's the 14 millimeter bolt we have to get off. Here's the back of the transmission oil pan. And it's just right there. So you can see this bracket has a little lip on it. So what we want to do is lift the exhaust up and we can push this bracket back just enough to clear this lip. There we go. So now let's head to the back, pull off our rubber pieces. So the lighting is not gonna be the best once I put my camera back on the ground, but all we wanna do is get this top piece over this or this bottom piece past this. Either one works because this bottom piece is longer, it's probably easier to get it off the top piece. It also helps to use a lubricant. WD-40, I'm using white lithium grease. Either way, works just fine. You always wanna spray it. You need kind of lubricant to help it slide over that. All right, I'm gonna set you on the ground and pull this off. All right, this side is done. We'll hop over to the other side, it'll be the exact same way. So now when you do this side, the exhaust is gonna to wanna to drop. Just be ready for it. You can also put a jack stand under the exhaust too if you want. All right, that one's off. So we actually have even another one I didn't see before. If you look right here is the Y pipe where both mufflers come together. You just come up just a little and it's sitting right there. So we want to get that off same way. A little lubricant, pry bar. There we go. Is there more? Feels like there's more. And on the other side of the muffler, there's also a rubber hanger. We want to get those off as well. All right, so I went ahead and put a jack stand under it just to hold it. And now I'm going to slowly lower it down. And I'll use the jack stand as a friend. And that looks like that might be plenty of room because then we can move the exhaust left or right as needed. All right, so these are the instructions. You'll get this in your kit. And these are all the things. So this is what it wants us to do. So this front bolt hole, we need to drill out on either side of it to make it oblong. The reason for that is because these go up in the frame and then you snake it back to this back hole. And we'll show you that underneath the vehicle. So the first one we need to oblong so that this can fit up and through. Now there's two different sizes. There's a fatter one and a skinnier one. Same with the bolts. You'll notice two different size bolts fatter and skinnier. The skinnier goes towards the rear, the fat goes towards the front. 
They also give you these wires. This is for fishing everything through the rail. Right here I have one already attached to it. So it, these little screw ends here, kind of like a helicoil, will thread onto your bolt. And that way you can fish it through. And I'll show you that underneath. But that's the only modification we have is these two little drill holes just to oblong or wobble out that hole to make it wide enough for this. All right, let's go under and do it. Now, so this is the driver's side, the L left side. We want to pull off this bolt here, just this front one for the heat shield. Then we want to pull out these. I already pulled this one out and it really just with a screwdriver pops right out. So we want to get both of those. You have a bigger hole in the front. This is what we're just oblonging just a little. And then this hole we keep the same. All right, so you can see I only drilled one hole. I fished my wire through, that's how you do it. And then it goes all the way through and then out the other end. And then now you can pull it through. So let me see if I can do that for you. So you want it in like this. And then you take our fish end, push it through, and it takes a little bit to get it, but it'll come out the other hole because the wire is curved. Let's keep playing with it. There we go. Comes out the other end. So now put your piece in first. That goes in. Now you can put your bolt in that piece and it'll flip over on its own right in the hole. So not too complicated. Now we'll get this other end in. Now for this other one, it goes in opposite. So the bolt goes through first. And then you wanna push the bolt down a ways in the chamber. Then we could put our other piece on and then pull the bolt through and that's done. All right, so now we have our hitch underneath the vehicle. What I recommend is having it lifted up a little. You can use jack stands if that helps. But put your cables or your wires and thread them through the top. Just put them in and maybe even kink them. So as you go up, those wires can hold your uh, see the light adjust. There we go. Can hold your bolts down so they don't get pushed back up through and even if they get pushed through that's fine you can pull them back but we want to leave these wires on there till the very end so we can put this other one through on this side and we'll do that to the other side i'm going to set you up so you can hopefully see what i'm doing but at this point it's just a lot of muscle work probably couldn't see much from the angle that I had the camera but you can get one side on you just holding it up with your knees it's not too heavy you get one side in you can put the wire through get it all in and then just take the wire off put a nut on put a nut on and then this side secure then go over to the other side where is it right there and just do the same thing on this side once you have one side in the other side's easier to do and that's it. So I don't have the washers on. I'm going to go ahead, pull these bolts off, put a washer on, tighten it up. And then once it's snug to the frame, I'm going to pull one off, lock tight on the threads, put it back on and torque it. Pull this off, lock tight the threads, put it back on and torque it. All right, the hitch is torqued down. Good to go. I'm going to go ahead and put the exhaust on off camera. Then I'll show you how to put that harness in. So in the trunk, we lift up our back piece. You can use the seat belt to hold that in place so it doesn't fall back down on you. We wanna pull the center styrofoam out. That just comes out on its own. Then we wanna pull this side off. There is a trim piece here, and then another one right here, and then this side piece comes off. The passenger side does not need to come off. That can stay. What we're doing is over here. 
So now that exposes this connector here. That's our end for our harness. It's just plug and play. We don't have to splice or anything. So plug that in until it clicks. All right, with our white ground, we just tapped into the floor with the provided screw. And then just find a way to route it around. You can route it up and over. If you put it in between, it'll just go in between your thing. Just however you want to route it. And then when it's in use, it'll come out the middle. And then you have uh, your pigtail. When it's not in use, you can bundle it up and just have it by the tire sitting somewhere. And that's it. And then just put everything back together and your hitch and wiring harness, it's good to go. All right, there you go. That's how you can install a tow hitch and a wiring harness on this generation Forester. Not too difficult. The exhaust does have to be dropped, but again, uh, not too challenging. Just a few rubber grommets and that one 14 millimeter bolt. And then it can drop and it actually can drop all the way to the ground and it'll be fine. Then you crawl under there, do your thing. Uh, the only modification is that one bolt hole that needs to be drilled or that one hole, not for a bolt, but that one hole that needs to be drilled. And then you can get that uh, little plate up and in there. That's pretty much it. Um, the reason I used Loctite was just because this uh, bouncing around, it's a very important part. You don't want to be towing something and those bolts eventually rattle loose. So Loctite, it wasn't in the information or the manual instructions, but uh, I just do it for safety. Other than that, uh, good to go. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one.